try to silence the self-doubt. That's something that I think a lot of entrepreneurs struggle with. There's just this voice in the back of our head that's wondering, oh gosh, is this the right way to do it? What is someone going to say? What are they going to think? Am I going to be judged? These thoughts that are going through our head, these fears are really not even ever entering the minds of others. It might be there, but it doesn't mean you need to listen to it. Welcome to Drop and Give Me 20, where you learn keys to entrepreneurial success as Lindsay Germono interviews business owners with military backgrounds on what works and what doesn't. Listen as they focus on the stories, both challenges and wins that military entrepreneurs have faced in growing their businesses. In this next episode of Drop and Give Me 20, Claire Yanta O'Mahony, founder of Florida Lee Fitness, discusses what life is like for her as she transitioned from being an active duty military spouse to now a veteran spouse. Claire Yanta O'Mahony is the owner of Florida Lee Fitness, and she's also a very dear friend of mine. Um, Claire, good morning. Good morning, Lindsay. Thank you so much for having me. It is both an honor and a pleasure. Aw, thank you. So um, I'm going to, you don't know that I'm going to do this, but I'm going to let everybody know this, the little snafu that we just had. So Claire and I actually (laughs) were, um, we were talking for like six minutes in, and then I realized um, I hadn't hit record. (laughs) So... um, Uh, Whoops. <laughs> it's okay. We are all human. Seriously. Yes. <laughs> no, no judgment zone. That's what I like to say with my clients and with, you know, with life, no judgment zone. Well, cool. I think that's a great um, segue. So tell us, um, tell us what you do. Yes. So I am the founder and trainer of Fleur de Lee Fitness, and I offer personal training, small group training, and large group training to clients locally, as well as across the world online using Skype and FaceTime. And then in addition to that, I am a certified nutritionist, and I offer nutrition coaching to clients. So you do the um, fitness sessions either in person or online? Correct. And then the nutrition obviously is, plays a big part into it. If someone were trying to get a really a good handle on, you know, changing their lifestyle all the way around, obviously that has to do with being um, focused on your health and wellness. Right. And you have to have the two, the two go hand in hand for right. sure. Nice. And so Claire, tell us about your background um, with being a military entrepreneur. Yes. So I started my business when my husband was active duty Marine Corps. A um, couple of years ago, and I was so grateful for the community that I was a part of, and I got to learn about some wonderful organizations that are really such a fabulous resource um, for military entrepreneurs. And more recently, actually, in July of last year, my husband transitioned out of the Marine Corps after eight years of service, and he's now a full-time business student earning his MBA. So Ooh. now it's it's a different world that, you know, I was an active duty spouse, and now I'm the, the spouse of um, a veteran who's a student. So And so has how has that impacted your business? Or if so, maybe it hasn't, I'm just assuming. <laughs> yeah, it, it really, it has in some ways. So aside from, you know, we used to be next to a base and involved in um, kind of that you know, military community and, you know, seeing people in, in camis and hearing colors all the time. We're not next to a base anymore. We're in a university town. And so it's just different with the, the clientele that I'm working with in some ways. And, um, and just, it has a, has a, a different feel, I guess, mm-hmm. but, but it's still, it's still wonderful. So one of the things that you mentioned to me when we were talking before is transitioning from that active duty spouse to now a, you know, veteran spouse. Um, And you're, you know, you're keeping your business with you. So it's not like you've, you've decided to pursue another option. You're still sticking with what you, what you love and what you do. Exactly. And I I have to add a little tidbit that it's, it's been very convenient that my husband is earning his MBA now because he's, I mean, just in the couple of months he's been in in class, he already has this fabulous business acumen that I've been very lucky to, you know, be able to kind of pick his brain on a couple of topics. So he's my, um, 
a business advisor in some ways. Nice. So, yeah. Was there ever maybe an opportunity where he could be a part of Florida Lee Fitness or? You no, know, that would be great. I think his, his classes and his recruiting schedule are very, very intense right now. He does <laughs> not have enough hours in the day, but I mean, I guess I, I would love to, you know, bring him in at some point because he's, is really, um, he's building upon his, his military background and, you know, the, the leadership qualities and taking that into his, um, his education. And that's something that I've gotten to obviously witness. And it, Mm -hmm. it's instilled in me how to, you know, some greater leadership qualities that I think that I can use in my business. But Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I'd love to bring him on. (laughs) I can vouch for his, uh, his, he's a good guy. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, now that you are a veteran spouse, um, talk to us a little bit about what, what that looks like, especially when you're trying to get um, new clients in a, in a location or you're trying to get clients on board. Is that the same? Does it look the same as it did when you, um, when he was, you know, active duty? I think it's, it's a little different and that my, my networks have changed a little bit. Um, I, I'm still a part of the military community and that's something that I was really relieved to hear as we were going through this transition period, um, I was a little concerned that there were some organizations that I couldn't really be a part of. And some of them, and most of them had said, you know, once a MILSPO, a military spouse, you know, once a MILSPO, always a MILSPO. And I just loved the fact that they were still embracing me. Um, but it's also meant that, you know, there's some other, um, my, my life is different in some ways and the people who I interact with, they typically don't have a military background. And so it's, it's kind of broadened my horizons and, and network so that I'm, my reach is a bit different because I, mm. from the day to day, I'm not, you know, working or just seeing as many military um, people as I was in the past. Right. So now you're in the, um, community more as a just regular non-military person yeah. trying to get some new clients. A civilian, yes. But I, I still am building upon that connection because there is definitely, um, there's a deep connection that we all share mm-hmm. regardless of our affiliation with the military. And um, so I'm, I'm grateful for that because that that's an instant thing. If I meet someone, you know, I still can, can build on that relationship and that, um, that knowledge. Perfect. So, um, what are some of the challenges that you're having that you want to share with those that are listening? So I, I guess it's, you know, it's finding, um, finding more clientele and also people are getting busier and busier. We all have full lives and I'm in the business of selling a service to, um, people who are busy and, um, and it's a service that a lot of times people, as we get busier, you know, we kind of let that slide. So a lot of times when people get bit, their lives become more full, they let their phys- their fitness and their health just kind of go to the wayside. I mean, work kind of consumes us, family, other commitments. And so it's been a challenge, but definitely one that I am up for <laughs> in trying to, you know, really show people the power of taking the time out of the day or of their week when they've got a little bit of time to spare to focus on their health and fitness and and to see how um, that actually will improve their personal lives, their business, their um, how they are in other realms of life. So it's about trying to, um, you know, convince the busy person who doesn't seem to have an extra moment in the day that actually by including this, um, you know, this kind of, kind of training that actually it will, it will make it their lives better. So for a military entrepreneur, somebody who's running their own business, uh, our days look a little different. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, it's hard to get a routine in, um, because we're running a business. So what kind of advice do you give those that are, you know, finding themselves in that space or finding themselves, um, running up against, I, you know, I'd love to work out, but I don't have time. It's about trying to keep it in your mind when you are planning your week and you're planning your day instead of, you know, thinking, okay, maybe at the end of, I've got, you know, a free little bit of time on Tuesday. Maybe I'll try to get to the gym, actually schedule it, make it, make an appointment and make a commitment to it so that it's not just something that maybe you'll squeeze in. It's at the bottom of your priority list. You actually 
are making a commitment and try to do it also in the morning if you can because as we all know, a lot of times the day just gets away from us and before we know it, it's 6 p.m. and we haven't eaten and, uh -huh. you know, it's just a, a wild day. So by making a commitment in the morning, then it, there's a better chance that it's going to happen before things just kind of go haywire. And then another thing is it's really so helpful to have the guidance and coaching of a personal trainer like myself because I can help you, you know, really commit and make the time to make it happen. Mm -hmm. Um. I, we didn't talk about this, but I just thought of it while you were talking. So like personal training versus somebody just going to the gym um, and signing up for, you know, one of the classes that, that the gym offers um, your thoughts on that. Yeah, I think it's really important and it's a life changing experience to work with a trainer at some point in your life. Even if it's just for a short, you know, couple sessions or you decide to keep up with it long term for a couple of years, it's really, it, it's a very different experience because you're, you're getting dedicated focus time and there's someone who's your coach and you're, um, you know, really providing that, that guidance and tailoring a session. So that's specifically for you. And I'm a big fan of classes and going to the gym. That's something that I love to do myself. But I also think that it's important that we get to have this separated time where we're making sure that the form is, is correct so we're not getting injured and that we are really, um, you know, kept to, to a schedule so that, you know, because you could go to a class or uh, maybe want to go to a class, but then you kind of fall off a bandwagon and no one's really making you show up. Mm -hmm. And so by working with a trainer, you are you know that that workout is going to happen because you've made a, a time and a financial commitment to, to your trainer. So I think it's really a wonderful experience for everyone to at least once get to work with a trainer to get that really dedicated one-on-one -on -one attention so that you are getting the workout that is created just for you mm -hmm. and your goals, any limitations and all specifications. So do you work with a lot of um, business owners? I do. Yes. And I think that what makes my services work so well for them is that it is, it's effective. Um, I think I have a good kind of combination of, uh, you know, balance and, and not being too strict, but you know, you're always going to make, you're going to know that's going to be an efficient workout so that it's an hour of your time. It's in, it's out, you get everything done. And, um, and I think for a lot of entrepreneurs, it's really so, so great that I can connect with them online because no matter where they live, where they're traveling to, if they're in a hotel room or something, um, if we have a 10 a.m. Skype appointment, we're connected at 10, you know, at 11 o'clock, you are done, you are on your way. So mm -hmm. it's just really efficient. And as we talked about earlier, you know, time is of the essence. And so the more you can do to really make sure that you know that the client is getting exactly what they need and there's, it's just in, out, bam, out the door, then they can get on to their day. So, and I'm going to um, share my personal story. You don't know that I'm going to do this because I didn't <laughs> want to freak you out before we <laughs> hit record. Claire has been my personal trainer for two years, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. That seems like a long time. Well, there are some times that we took some breaks, but I've always enjoyed working out at some level, but I couldn't get it in because I just, you know, opened my business and I wasn't, I mean, like the classes I could make were my schedule and everything was so crazy. So everything that you're saying, like, I feel like you, you know, you're describing me. I didn't share this with you, but mm -hmm. since we, since you've trained me, I've lost, uh, almost 30 pounds. Um, oh my I've gosh. Had you go girl Two injuries, you know, we've worked around. Remember I, I had, um, that issue going on with my foot where I literally <laughs> did not put any weight on my foot for months. Like, I know <laughs> months, plural form. So my, right. I couldn't run. I couldn't, I couldn't even do jumping jacks. I couldn't do burpees. I couldn't do anything on because of that foot. And I was so depressed because 
you know, I was worried like, oh my gosh, this is going to really impact things. So anyway, what I wanted to share with those that are listening is that like, you know, it doesn't matter like where in your phase you are, you know, having somebody to keep you accountable is one, one of the things that has, you know, worked for Claire and I here. And that's why I really wanted to invite her to come on and share that with, you know, those that are listening that might be in that, oh, I really want to work on this, but I don't know how I can fit it in. Um, Claire, you know, you've done a great job of being flexible for all of your clients and all the times that they've had to, to do that. So with that being said, I want to transition to the last part of our interview. And I want to ask you if you, when you launched your business, let's see, how many years ago was that? A little over, I guess, gosh, a little over two years ago, I think. Okay. What would you tell yourself? Um, what kind of tip would you give yourself when, you know, if you could say Claire at two or you know, over two years ago, if you're going to mm-hmm. do this, what would that be? I would say try to silence the self doubt because Mm -hmm. that's something that I think a lot of entrepreneurs struggle with. Um, you know, of course not all, there's some who are just super confident and they just, they're really gunning for it and they, they're, they've got everything in, you know, lined up. But for a lot of us, there's just this voice in the back of our head that's wondering, Oh gosh, is this the right way to do it? What is someone going to say? What are they going to think? Am I going to be judged? And a lot of it is truly, really just internal. And it's our own fears surfacing. And these thoughts that are going through our head, these these fears are really not even ever entering the minds of others. So I would say to just try to silence that self-doubt. It might be there, but it doesn't mean you need to listen to it. Mm -hmm. So just to, to keep on, to remember what your goal was, what your intention, how you want to impact and change the lives of others. And let that be what guides you and the, the naysayers, whether they exist or not, just they're just there. Listen. Yeah, they're going to be there, but you don't have to listen. And, you know, of course, be open to, to feedback and constructive criticism, but any of the negativity, just let it roll off your back, whether it be coming from an internal source or external. It's so awesome that you share that. I've recorded a number of episodes. We talk a lot about that it, scattered throughout the episodes, that self-doubt must be something that resonates with everybody. So yes. um, yeah, push on, dive in, just, you know, just don't worry about it. You'll, you'll, you'll make it. Well, we are coming up to a close and I want to thank you for being on the Drop and Give Me 20 podcast. Um, please tell us how we can connect with you. Yes. So again, my business is Fleur de Lee Fitness and the website is FDL fitness.com. My Instagram is at Fleur de Lee Fitness. Facebook is facebook.com forward slash Fleur de Lee Fitness. And Twitter is at FDL Fitness. And happy new year to you. Happy new year to everybody who's listening. Thank you. Maybe contact Claire and see if this might be a good fit for you. You know, see, see how you guys can work this out. And I really appreciate your time today, Claire. Thank I love you. everything you're doing. Keep it up. And thank you for, you know, sharing uh, your tips and advice to all of us. We will make sure to connect with you on fdlfitness.com and Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Of course, everybody has all that stuff too. So uh, thank you again for your time today. And you know, you'll be seeing me, um, you know, very soon. So sounds good. Thank you so much. It's really been my absolute pleasure to do this today. Thank you, Lindsay. (laughs) You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening to Drop and Give Me 20, brought to you by Dramono Advertising Company in Norfolk, Virginia. Please visit our podcast in iTunes, click on subscribe, and leave us a review. Your support goes a long way. When you subscribe and leave reviews, it helps the guests on our show as well. Jump in and let us know what you think. You can also follow all of our guests on the Drop and Give Me 20 Facebook page. We have Instagram and Twitter. Those handles are Give Me 20 Podcast. I'm your host, Lindsay Germono, and I appreciate you listening to the show.